When it comes to where exactly the bow should contact the string, it's a Goldilocks thing. We know that we have to play approximately between the end of the fingerboard and the bridge. If you use your finger, you can actually feel how the string is really soft to push down up here. And as you get closer to the bridge, it gets harder to push down. This has an effect on the kind of sound we get and where we want to play. Where we play on the string in terms of how close to the fingerboard and how close to the um, bridge uh, can be determined by how big a sound we want and how much pressure we intend to apply and the speed of the bow. But if we want just a good general idea, we want to make sure that we're past the end of the fingerboard, but perhaps not too close to the bridge. <laughs> your Goldilocks spot for just a, a little bit of weight by that comes naturally from just sitting the bow on the string not really needing to apply any extra pressure and you should get a nice full sound right there it's true that we can use combinations of speed and pressure to change how much sound we get out of the cello and how much sound the bow is producing. So if the bow is moving more slowly, without a lot of pressure, of course, we get less sound. And then if the bow is moving more quickly, generally speaking, we get more sound. Um, um, and then the more pressure we apply, the more sound we can get as well. We can get a very loud sound like this. <laughs> We can play that very same note and get a nice soft sound and we can get everything in between and probably even louder and even a bit softer too. Another thing we can do is have one single note that grows in sound or we can do the opposite. We can make the sound come away while we keep the note sustained. For example, I'll play that same note I just played and I'll start soft and then I'll get louder and then I'll get softer again. And of course I can do lots of variations of this. I can add changing notes into that so that as the notes change, the sound grows and goes away like this. There's slurring the bows together, putting more in one bow, and affecting the amount of sound that's coming from the cello.